Hello, this is Gary Simon from GarySimon.net, and this is a video tutorial that will show you how to create a cool looking button from which you can use in multiple instances on your website. Say, for example, uh, ch checkout processes, continue, checkout now, or actually you could use it for anything. So just go to File, New, and the width 500, height 300. Hit OK. Double click, paint bucket, let's make the background white. Alright, let's start out with the rectangular tool, the rounded rectangle, and the radius is at 14 pixels. So let's drag it out here. Alright, it's like the move tool. Now let's double click, and let's go to gradient overlay here. Now let's select it and let's click on. Actually, let's make this negative 90 here. Let's put a minus. Let's click that once and let's change this very darkest to white and hit OK. Now it disappears, obviously. Let's uh, click right around here, left click, and double click it to change the color. We're going to make it slightly gray right here. You can just barely see it, but that's what we want. So, actually, let's move, let's move this over here. Now, let's hit OK here. And let's go to Stroke, the bottom here. And let's change it to one pixel. And change the color to just a slightly gray color. Real light. And hit OK. All right. Now, that's pretty much a button within itself. But we're going to do a little bit more for the sake of the tutorial and learning. So, uh, let's right click this and go to duplicate layer hit OK now let's select the bottom the original layer and let's hit the down and let's hide the effects on this and double click it real quick and we'll just make this a light gray color so hit OK so let's take the direct selection tool it's the one that's white and let's select halfway through it and with the down arrow key which we'll is hit down a few and on the right, select those ones and hit the right arrow key a few. Now let's hit the select the move tool and just with the arrow keys hit up and left a few times. All right, let's click here to see what it looks like finalized. All right, it's a little bit too dark, so let's double click here. That's a little bit better. Okay, hit OK. All right, uh. Now what we're going to do is create like a background area where a uh, we can put I different icons, you know, whatever is re relevant. So let's uh, switch this blue color here. You can make it any color you want really, but just make sure it's a little bit darker. And let's zoom up here. Left click, drag out. And let's select the pen tool. Actually, I want to get a little bit closer to this. Okay. Select the pen tool. Start right up around here and just a straight line all the way across. Use your arrow keys if you're off or whatever. And then we'll go right to the middle, left click, hold down, and you, you can hit shift too to make sure it's perfectly straight. Let go and then just hold right around here. Just actually, we don't really need to adjust it too much. Hold shift, let go. And then we're going to end it a little bit earlier. Now, left click, hold down, drag out a little bit, and let's close it right here just by simply left clicking. Now, let's drag this layer up and over so we can actually see it. And let's left click and go to actual pixels. All right, I uh, select all these layers real quick and move it here in the middle. Okay, now. Let's double click this layer we just created and go to gradient overlay. And click here and we're going to change the color. We're going to go to foreground to transparent right here, this particular preset. And we're going to double click this blue color and make it a little bit lighter. Hit OK. Hit OK again. I'm going to put negative 90 here. And let's go back. Click once. And let's move this to the right and just left click. And double click this new one here and we'll make it a little bit darker that way this gives it more of a 3D gradient-ish type effect 
and let's click OK. All right, uh, let's put the text down here now. I'm gonna, we'll just put check out now. Hit OK, and just to give it a little bit more separation, we're gonna take the check out part and we're gonna bold it even more. Go, we'll go to heavy. And then we'll take now and we'll make this light. Now, depending on whatever type of fonts you have, you can just use, you know, you can just go from regular to uh, to bold. All right, now we're going to, we can just duplicate this layer. Right click, hit duplicate, hit OK. And shift selected with the move tool, move down here. And let's make it a different color. So the type tool, click up here and We'll just down here a little bit here. A little darker. Okay, here we hit, hit OK. And let's uh, make it a little bit smaller. I'd say 14. Now we can give an appropriate uh, subtitle. Whatever makes most sense, whatever's most relevant. Secure instant access. Okay, let's move it up, and I don't like how it's that bold, so let's change it a little bit to medium here. All right, let's click the move tool. Now, uh, this extends out a little bit too far to the right, so let's select the move tool here and just hold shift and drag it in a little bit. Same thing with this layer. Hold shift and drag in a little bit. All right. Now let's add an icon in this area. Select like the pen tool, make the white foreground color. Actually, no, we'll we'll uh we'll just use something preset just to make this go a little bit quicker. We're gonna use this shape here. And hold shift. And let's drag this to the top so we can actually see it. And select the move tool. Now, this in and of itself looks fine, but we can just edit this to make the uh the uh, preset a little bit more customized. So let's select the uh, path tool here. Let's take this, hold shift and drag in a little bit. And we'll just take this. You can really mess with this however you want. All right, now let's uh, take the pen tool and it's like the green color, this bright green right here. And it's like four points right here. Kind of adds a little bit more of a, just an extra design effect. And there we go. Uh, it's pretty much a, a decent looking button. And you can use it to uh, for multiple buttons here. What we can do though uh, to experiment with color theme, color theme, color theming it is let's uh, select the very top. Hold shift. Select the very bottom layer. Click this right, eye, right icon here and go to new group from layers. And just hit OK. And right click and duplicate it. Hit OK, and then hide the bottom layer. Actually, you don't even need to hide a bottom layer. We'll just take this one right down here. And with one of them, just go to Merge Group here. Now that flattens all the images, all the layers. So let's go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And right away, we could see uh, it looks pretty cool in almost every every type of color. One problem, though, is this little this little thing. Uh, since it's such a different color, it can really make produce bad results. Like this, it looks terrible. But whenever you decide on a, an actual true color theme, uh, you'll want to go in and manually change each gradient and each color of each layer. But this is just a quick way to experiment with different button colors. So you can also experiment with how it'll it'll look when it's scaled down to the final version this might be too big so you can right click duplicate group hit ok and go to edit free transform and hold shift hit ok take this other one make it real big And there we go. It scales down pretty well. It's a very easy to use button, which is exactly what you want when you're creating any type of, especially when you're you're uh, doing checkout processes and things uh, where, where people are actually making purchases. But 
all in all, it's a pretty decent button, and you can use it for your own your own own, ah, own applications. Holy crap! I can't talk. Too much talking. All right. Goodbye.